Today we are going to create this zoom in phone transition effect in After Effects. It's very easy to create and you can use it as a transition for your videos. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so that's in After Effects and in order to create this effect, we need to record some videos. So first take out your smartphone and you can place it on a flat surface like this and you can apply a green wallpaper or just simply open up a green image and zoom it completely so that the entire screen is covered like that. You don't have to have any movement in this shot. So all you have to do is just place the smartphone on the table. Now after that, take your hand and you can do this swiping up gesture like you are swiping on the screen like this. So once you're done with this, we can import this footage in After Effects and you're ready to go. So now first I'm going to use this background. Now it's completely up to you. you can transition into whatever background you want. So let's import this background and I'm going to drag it inside this composition. And let's drag our green screen footage as well. And we basically we are going to replace this footage with the background and then we can add some zoom in transition. So first let's get rid of this effect this green screen so for that you can search for key light and i'm going to use this key light spill suppressor so if i drag it onto this video now all we have to do is just simply select this and pick whip and select the green color now in order to get rid of this green hue which is around our finger you can enable this advanced spill suppressor now you can see that it will get rid of all of these so like i said you can take this shot by placing your camera on a tripod so that there is no motion in the video but I was recording it handheld so you can see if I press play there is some motion in this video which you can avoid because it will look much better if you don't have any motion but don't worry we are going to work with this only so here we have this swiping animation so we can have the effect so for that let's select this I'm going to press S let's add a keyframe for scale and let's press P for position let's press U to see all of them now I'm going to go to a point where we have this finger completely up like that now we can start zooming in so let's zoom in till the background footage which is this one is completely visible you can enable the title action save just to keep everything in the center and let's zoom it up till we have the edges completely out of the frame like that so here you can see we have the background image now we can select these keyframes press f9 Let's go to the very beginning and I'm going to change my graph to look like this so that it starts a little bit slow and then it has this effect. Now we can play around with the position of this. So we don't want it to start right away. So this transition is basically all about the timing. So I think we can start a little bit slow or we can move it a little bit far away. I think this looks much better. Perfect. Now we can try to match it with the background. So we can move this a little bit further. I think this looks good. Nice. So let's pick a point. So somewhere around here, you can see we have this motion. So I'm going to select this and let's press Ctrl Shift T to spread this layer. Now let's select the bottom layer, right click, go to time and I'm going to freeze frame so that this is not moving and this will look like our wallpaper like that. So once you're done with this, we are ready to add some lock screen onto this. For that, I'm going to use this lock screen, which has time, date and these icons. It's completely up to you, you can use whatever you want. Just take a screenshot of a black wallpaper like this now let's try to place this below the screen screen footage and let's just scale this up let's press r to rotate it now we can get rid of the black area by simply changing the mode to add or screen let's set this to add yeah i think this looks good and let's just try to place it now the basic idea is to move the screen with the animation as well so for that we can have a position keyframe but we can parent this to the green screen so that its scale will be animated like that now as we are swiping we can have the swipe up motion and let's move it completely out we can play around with the timing we can move it to this side because our screen is moving in that direction Perfect. So here we have the zoom in transition for the screen as well. 
now let's select these press f9 to ease them now our finger starts swiping somewhere around here and we can have it like this so that it swipes across there perfect now we can make it look more of like a screen wallpaper by simply selecting this layer let's press t opacity and i'm going to add a keyframe let's move it a little bit ahead like that and in the beginning i'm going to lower it down let's say 50 now we can copy this and just simply select the top layer and paste it so that both of these two layers have same opacity transition like that so here you can see we have this really nice zoom in transition from our phone again you can use whatever video footage you have over here you can have a travel video like you're swiping and going to a location so this is how you can create this zoom into phone transition in after effects and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.